<laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing? This is Brandon. And I'm Ashley. Welcome to Let's Talk. And as you see, we've gone... It's about to get elegant. We've gone frigid in the middle of August. Not even the middle, it's the beginning of August, so it's still super summer. So what are we talking Somebody about today? decides to get extra. <laughs> Speaking of extra, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so we're going to go petty first. So... <laughs> <laughs> So my wife is the petty queen, and I'll tell you how petty she is. So yesterday, I went, two days ago, I went to a baseball game, uh, the Cubs and the Cardinals, and I came home, uh, it was pretty late, about four o'clock in the morning, and when I get home, I have to turn around and be at work at 6, at Okay, let's do a back story. All right, hold on, so, let me finish, let okay. me finish, because uh, I'm on a roll. And so when it goes, when it comes time for me to lay down, I'm like, all right, uh, where's the cover? Nope, nope. You, you can't do the whole story because you're going to ruin it. So, <clears throat> let's talk about what <laughs> Yesterday, the day before, whatever, my husband says, Oh, I'm going to a baseball game. The baseball game starts at 6. He leaves town at 4 o'clock. We have two small children. Did I mention we have two small children? And we yeah. normally have a bedroom, a bed time routine. Mm -hmm. He takes the son, I take the daughter, and we do our thing. Okay, so I know he's not going to be home in time for bedtime. That's no problem. Baseball games ends, it's only a two-hour drop. He's not here. So, we have some words, right? Yeah, they were. They were. We have some words via text. And basically... Basically, I ended the conversation by, now mind you, the game was on Thursday, right? Yeah. I ended the conversation by saying, talk to you on Saturday. So, <clears throat> he was going like the high route, right? I'm not there yet. Like, <laughs> he was like, oh, it's fun. I'm not there yet. So I was like, okay. By the time he gets home, I will be asleep. But how, what can I do to make his evening uncomfortable. So she goes like petty and when I say petty there's different levels of petty. There's like uh, I'm not going to talk to you for a day. That's petty. But she goes like hey I know that there is a little person in the house and I'm going to put everything on the top shelf petty. That's where she went. So I'm sitting. When I get home I decide I'm going to go to sleep and I lay on the couch and I'm like wait I need cover. So I'm trying to find a cover and I really didn't put forth the great effort of looking because I knew that she was being petty and she hit him. He didn't know. He I didn't did. know. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. When I couldn't find the one cover where it always is that she was being petty. And this is how petty she is. So today, today's Friday. The game was yesterday. And this all happened this morning. Well, it's actually Saturday now. Um, yesterday on Friday, after I get off work, she gets off work. Me and Aria are hanging out in Aria's room. And Aria's like, hey, dad. Why is there stuff in my closet? And I'm like, what are you talking about? So I go in there and look. Lo and behold, that's where the covers are. I should have been petty and woke her up at 4 o'clock in the morning and be like, hey, uh, where are the covers? Well, here's the shock but value of this all. Day. Here's the shock value, and I don't think he's aware of this. <clears throat> so around 1.30 in the morning, when I knew he wasn't going to show up, I stripped the master bedroom um, cover. I hid it in one closet. I took the comforter. I found that this morning. This morning, so you didn't use it. Um, I took an unopened comforter that I'm not using ever until my kids are about 50 and put it in Aria's room. I took the covers from the, the blanket closet, put it all in Aria's room, and then Mind we you, waited. This is not what this video is supposed to be about. No, Go ahead. no, no, I'm not done. I'm not done. So I hear this young man walk in at four o'clock in the morning, and he walks in and he kisses all of us on the forehead and he says, Love you, and he walks out. I was awake when he came home I just didn't have I was just waiting for him to say something he said nothing and this is what I'm talking about taking the high road leads to like I don't know no arguments that so, was weird so I, I found the cover it was, I found the throw it was like yeah, a, it's, a it's, not a, it's not a big cover but it wasn't like a super steep Brandon is six foot two and this is probably made for somebody who's my height five foot two but I made it happen. I left all the little blankets in Aria's um her sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. And I didn't want to sleep on the sleeping bag, so I got I got the sleep that I needed, so it was all good. But I'm glad this video went this way. He said actually, it, he said it's all good, planned. but he woke up with an attitude. No, I didn't. 
Dude, you didn't speak to me for a whole like 15 minutes. Let's not be waking up with an attitude. I, didn't I mean, whatever. Speak. So, yeah. So, if you guys ever had any petty moments like that, uh, if you have, put it in the comments. Like, subscribe, follow, share, tell a friend. Tell a friend. So, once again, this is Brandon. And this is Ashley. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>